three, two, one. We're actually live. This is 2OF Entertainment. that opening that that david did if i was on acid that would be awesome that would just be like <laughs> the best opening ever so because it's you know just exploding in my face so it's, very cool. it's creative come on he's in, he's got all this new software we bought him so now he's just having a field day with it so and it's yeah, uh, what can i tell you so all right so you guys have a special guest today yeah and you, Emma, can pronounce her name. Uh, before <laughs> some, some has to pronounce her name properly, yes. That's usually how yes. it works with the guest. She is uh, Shoban Makevoy. She is uh, an amazing artist, painter, uh, who is very close to nature. And uh, her colors are just magical. You have to discover her heart. Yeah. Very cool. So should we bring her in? Yes, she's from well, UK say, though. She's, 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 you know, she's, she's your guest, so if you don't want to bring her in, you just leave her in the green room all day. I know it's a little rude, but you know, uh, you know how it goes. Yeah, let, so, let's let's uh, have, have her in. Hi, she, Hi. There she is, everybody. Hi all, and thank you, Emma, for the wonderful introduction. That was really lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. It's from heart. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. From the heart to heart. Heart starts. So tell us how you got started and then we'll bring up your little bio pictures and all that other cool stuff. But so how did you get started painting and behind you is some of your original work, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. You Hi. can see behind me some of my original paintings. Yes. Um, okay. There you I are. Actually, so for people that want to know who you are, there you yeah. are. So my name is Siobhan McAvoy. I am originally from Dublin in Ireland. But I Dublin. Live in, yeah, Dublin. Great place. I now live in a place called Norfolk in the countryside in the UK, which is beautiful. And I get a lot of my inspiration from sort of locations near my home, which is fantastic. Um, I, as you can see, I like to paint a lot of flowers and nature. But in answer to your question, Stephen, um, I never realized I could paint until lockdown. And, um, you know, I was just my husband and I were just flicking around the TV and saying, what should we do, something together? So we said, let's try painting. So we bought a couple of canvases, easels off Amazon. He threw his out the window in frustration. And my first painting sold on LinkedIn a couple of days later. And I thought, wow, wow where did this come from? I was working in finance and tax, quite right. dull environments, but they paid well. And you know, they serve their purpose at the time. But now I'm doing something that is so rewarding, something that I love, I enjoy, mm -hmm. I get so much pleasure from, and I get paid for. It's just like the ideal situation. So yes, I started in lockdown, and now I have prints in major retail stores. Galleries wow. have, you know, have my originals all around the UK and Ireland. Um, yeah, it's, it's just gone from strength to strength. I just can't believe it. Sometimes I pinch myself about the story because, you know, one day I'm sitting in an office doing finance and the next day I'm selling my artwork and doing something in my studio here at home. It's just amazing. It's, it's a wonderful story and it still gives me goosebumps because I sometimes think I can't believe how I got here. And also I can't believe how people have contacted me, you know, in the licensing industry, galleries, and, you know, they say my work is very commercial and it's vibrant, it's joyous. And yeah, it's just, it's amazing. I love it. I feel very blessed. Very, very nice. That's cool. I'm in finance too. And I, um, no one will buy my stick figures. So um, I'll have to stay in finance. So, I know, I know, I know what I'm good at and drawing and painting is not one of them. So but that's very cool. So during lockdown, these, these yeah, works you have them. behind you is is, is uh, quite good, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah, this, yeah. this big no. pink one here was one of the ones that, that went to retail ah. to, to Next and a few other stores oh. here in the UK. 
Um, as you can see, everything's very textured. And I tend yeah. not to use a lot of brushwork. I use a lot of everything I find at home, sponges, sticks, bits and pieces, and everything's got yeah. a really lovely texture. And I love vibrant yeah. colors and I love mixing colors. And I don't know where any of this came from that I just wake up one day and have this vision of a flower and I paint it and it's just, it's amazing. I love it. I feel very lucky. Very wow. cool. And there you are. There I am. And you, you, yeah, you can see various paintings. They usually revolve around landscapes or flowers, um, lots of color, lots of vibrancy very large flowers uh, you know i think they bring a lot of joy to people it's not like you, you 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 did some uh, drawing in 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 your childhood yeah so so you you were not totally blank yeah well when i was a little girl um i kind of came from quite a uh a, a, not a poor background but a very basic background in ireland and i remember doing some drawing and painting. I used to draw faces or trees. Wow. And I remember my parents saying to me, oh, you know, you can't do that. You've got to get a job. You know, you've got yeah. to go and do a touch typist course or, you know. So after my A-levels, I did uh, business and French and um, I got a degree in business and French. So it was just forgotten about and almost put in the back of my mind. And then, you know, here I am, and all these years later, it's just come back, and it's amazing. I could not have made this story up. If you'd asked me five years ago, <laughs> would, where would you be? That you'd be painting, and that you'd have your your your, your work in, in retail stores or galleries, or you've got a mural collection, a wallpaper collection, gifts. I would say, I, I would laugh, and I'd say, yeah, right, you know, I don't think so. But I don't know where it's all spun from, but it's amazing, and I feel very blessed and very lucky. It's, Sorry, it's typical Irish luck. Sorry? <laughs> luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish. That's so it. now are yeah. you a full-time artist, or you still go back into finance, or is this Yeah, um, I'm, a full -time, I'm a okay. full-time artist. Uh, I've also got a degree in marketing, which helps, and that yeah. helps with my art and pushing mm -hmm. it forward. Um, so that's really come in very handy. Um, yeah, so I'm a full-time artist. I'm very lucky I can get to work from home. We live in a, a beautiful converted barn and there was always a spare room that we used as a gym. Then it turned into a bar. Then it was something else. And it's a beautiful room with beams. And, and I, we thought, I don't even know, we don't know what we're going to do with this room, but now it's absolutely splattered and paint floor, windows, walls. And it's my little sanctuary, and I go off there, and I close the door, and it's amazing. So myself yeah. and the room are usually covered in paint every day. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's very liberating. It's very rewarding as well. So uh, what, I always, I always when ask you every artist, your, your work, your originals, where do they start and where do they end price-wise? So if someone sees something today and they go, I have to own it. What do they think? What are they yeah. going to be spending to buy an original? Okay. So the thistle one here behind me, a similar size, will now be in galleries in the UK for about fourteen fifty up to nineteen fifty uh, UK okay. pounds. Um, the smaller ones, like this one, would retail in a gallery for about nine hundred and ninety-five pounds. Um, and then there are sort of standard 60 by 60 centimeters that range around 500, 600 UK pounds. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. You know, when you, you know your accountant. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of Emma, accountants. Emma, 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 please. I have a question. Uh, oh, when yeah. you... Yes. Uh, when you create those paintings, uh, do you listen to music or just concentrate on uh, nature? Oh, good question, Emma. Thank you. Yeah, I listen to music all the time. And even when I'm not painting, there has to be music on in the house. I just love music. And it's, it ranges from everything mm. from the 80s to up to present. Yeah, I love music. I've always got music on. I've got to be careful of the neighbours. <laughs> Um, because sometimes it's quite loud. So yeah, I love I love uh, working with music. 
Yes. Irish uh, folk, folk music then? No. Uh, no, I don't know no Irish music. <laughs> um, <laughs> do a little jig around the studio. Um, no, just sort of just general general music, all sorts. Yeah. So for your inspiration, do. is it? Do you look out the window for inspiration? Is it like you're driving in the car and you go, "Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to paint it." Or so? How did the? How's your inspiration? Because yeah, so it's all nature. Yeah, good question, Stephen. Sometimes I'll see something like locally, there are beautiful fields where I walk. And I'll just take a photo of, say, some daisies with a background. And that actually, I did a daisy painting. It was one of my best selling ones, went to print. And that was just from a photo I took. Right. And, you know, there, there, there's no real right or wrong with my paintings. I'm not self critical. I will paint. And I won't go back and touch up. You know, it is what it is, and it goes on. And I love okay. the way it just it just happens. Very cool. cool. Your painting we, are very live, lively. There, it was a, a movement in it. It's almost living. It's oh, uh, really you. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But but you 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 got to have a a, a great intuition. You know, uh, it, it's. Um, uh because you you have to see you know it it's so perfect it's almost too perfect <laughs> yeah it, I, I suppose i will uh not really do it from imagination i'll do it maybe a mixture of something i've seen maybe something mm -hmm. online mixed up with that a different sky different background and then the flowers sometimes come out of my imagination i might do a landscape of something i've seen and then the flowers at the for forefront will just be out of my head and I'll just work out the depth and colors and stuff. So I, I love working with shade, light and dark as well. The, the flowers are, are your uh, uh, branding, uh, yes. I understand. But, 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 yes. but do, you have, do you have landscape, as you said, you have other? Yeah, I, I like to, to try different things. I've become known for my floral work. And so that's kind of like my trademark. But I have done a collection of beautiful abstracts as well uh, wow. for a customer who wanted them for um, a corporate event. And um, they were beautiful. And I really enjoyed doing those because they were quite experimental. So, yeah, I'm open to trying anything. But because this works, it tends to be what I do. And let me ask you this. So you said when you painted during the pandemic, which is very yeah. cool, then all of a sudden um, it became very commercialized. So when I yeah. hear that, I always think of Peter Max, right? You know, from pillowcases <laughs> to, to art, right? Um, so for you then, how did it become commercialized? Was it your marketing background that got it commercialized or did someone see your art somewhere and went like, oh, we're gonna make prints because people are gonna buy this by the droves because it's just, and I mean, this is a compliment, very simplistic and nice. And yeah. you can put it yeah. anywhere in the house. Is that what yeah. So how did you get from, you know, yeah, great no one knows who I am to yeah. all of a sudden everybody wants to start doing your stuff? Yeah, sure. Um, well, the very first time that I put my art out there was my first painting. And it was a cherry blossom tree with a man and a woman holding hands walking through it. And I put it on LinkedIn, funnily enough. Right. And um, this gentleman contacted me and said, could I buy that for my wife's birthday? And I sold it very cheaply because I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. I'm thinking, oh, gosh, I can't believe someone's actually bought it. I'd, I was in shock. <laughs> so uh, he bought that. And then I just got the confidence to start putting it out there. So I got my Instagram. And I, I think I've got, you know, 10,000 followers on Facebook, 8,000 on Instagram, right. you know, lots on, on LinkedIn. But I found LinkedIn initially one of my better um, outlets because that's ah. where the companies like the licensing come in. And that's right. where I believe they see a lot of marketing that they can, you know, oh, that looks commercial. I'll contact that lady. And I remember the guy contacting me. Um, the licensing guy and i thought oh gosh it's a scam because i thought you know why is he contacting me it can't be real you know he wants to put this right. in, in in next and i'm thinking oh this must be a scam or something you know so, and i had a proper chat with him and he was normal he was lovely and you know the rest is history so yeah i, I think that that really has helped all that sort of marketing and putting it out there and making sure you know it's not just about the art it there's a huge emphasis on you know, the work ethic and having to post once a day, having to use right. your hashtags, having to push yeah. it, you know, having to market yourself. 
you know, and, and show yourself and talk about your art. You know, it's it's quite huge. It's not just about being in your gallery or your studio or painting all day. There's yeah. quite a lot of work involved. The admin side, you know, sort of like your invoices, all the other things that go with that. But I would do this in a heartbeat compared to anything I've ever done in my whole life. So it's, it's worth it. Cool. <laughs> so, a new, so a new artist, the thing is, get on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. And, Absolutely. And, and, and we say this in our, when we do dog and pony shows for people, we say you're going to be prostituting yourself for the next three months. So basically oh. you just prostitute yourself globally and hope so one, the one person sees Absolutely. it that can go from Absolutely. A to Z. Yeah. And you know, you yeah. never know, Stephen, who's right. going to see your work. No. And you know, I'm a big fan of promoting yourself out there. Right. That's so important. Otherwise you're just another artist hidden away at home, painting in your studio nobody knows who you are so you know that's probably the number one you know thing of, of uh, aspect of being you know a, a successful artist you know and i'm learning you know I've, I've only been doing this for four years of my life i'm learning every day every single day about how to promote myself how to promote my work who my target audience is because that's another important thing you know you get so many followers, but are any of them going to buy my work? So right. it's targeting your audience. That that's hugely important. So you had to learn. I'm assuming you had to learn all this the day after the gentleman bought the, the yeah. cherry blossom tree. You're like, yeah. okay, Absolutely. wait a minute. Now I have to become a. I have to become a marketer, and I have to become a promoter, yeah. and I have to become Absolutely. this, and I have to become that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. I Google I, 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 everything. Google everything. And also kind of an entertainment because uh, this is something I miss uh, in 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 the art segment because a lot of artists are uh, they want to be alone left left alone and just do their things and they are forgetting about the the Absolutely. publicity the PR and the yeah. branding. Yeah, and that's uh, so important. Too bad. And, and, yeah. And, and I've been following you for, for, for a while on, on, on LinkedIn, and you're brilliant. Yeah. And I have to say, your, your uh, marketing is wonderful as well. You're, you're very constant, aren't you, with that, which is so yeah. important. It's very important. Very important, yeah. And we look at it for the, sh for the shows, we look at it the other way. We, we have to do the same thing. If you gotta put, unfortunately or fortunately, you got to put it out there, because YouTube, yeah. good, bad, or indifferent, only has 12 billion shows. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's the same thing for us to market all so, the shows and do the same thing. So, yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's it basically yeah, yeah, marketing, marketing, marketing. It's like in yeah. real estate to like you know, yeah, location, location, location. It's the same thing. Absolutely, it's like any business. Yeah. You don't exist. Yeah. You know, you've got to tell yeah. people who you are, what you do, and find your target audience. You know, that's so important. So when you so how long did it take you then when you sold the cherry blossom that you're like, wait a second. If I paint something, now I have to start. I'm assuming you start, you weren't really on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. No, I didn't have any of those accounts. Right. No. So now for you, so what was your learning curve on that? Because I think for people that are just starting out, as much as your work is gorgeous, to them, they're going to be like, yeah, it's gorgeous. Tell me how you did it. So yeah. I think, you know, that I think I've, you are mastering the, biz, the art of business is fascinating for a yeah. lot of people. Absolutely. And you're right, Stephen, it is a business. It's effectively yeah. a business. You know, oh, know. You know I'm, a, I'm an artist. But as you say, as Morton says, you know, I'm, I can't sit in my gallery 24 in my studio 24 seven and, right. you know, just exist. So it is a very solitary environment, as you say. So your audience and your social scene is very much online. And yeah. that's really important. Mm. When I come back to your question, Stephen, when I sold my cherry blossom, I think I'd sold it for 60 quid. And right. um, I got arted <laughs> down and I said, yeah, of course, you know, I was chuffed. I think I cried when I got off the email because like, oh, I can't believe I sold this painting. <laughs> I think I had a little cry. How did this happen? You know, and then right. I said, oh, gosh, I've been blessed, you know. And so then, of course, I set up my Instagram, my Facebook page, um, my LinkedIn, um, which was originally just my business account from you know my yeah. previous work so right. that I, it's now Siobhan McAvoy art so that's you know everything had to be set up and um you know then I got it, it just it just snowballed really yeah. you know once I got into the licensing environment you know people get to know about you more because 
the, the licensing companies are very good and have the money to promote yep. and market. Right. And that's what a lot of artists don't have. So if you've got your, like this one here, I kept the original because it was my first oh. one and my favorite mm -hmm. that went into Next. Right. The marketing on that was fantastic because Next promoted it. The licensing company promoted it. I promoted it and they sold out. You know, I think that I can't okay. remember how many, but it was, you know, a couple of thousand, maybe 5,000, I think it was, and they sold out. And wow. it is about promotion, it is about marketing. And, you know, without these licensing companies contacting me, I would not know where to start. You know, and, they and have also, the power to do that. And also, as you say, uh, co branding is, is a. Uh, is a quite another thing than being alone, yes, and, 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 and and also the companionship on on LinkedIn. Excuse yeah. me, uh, mm -hmm. because we we are lifting each other on, 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 yeah. on LinkedIn. So mm -hmm. so it's um, hooray for you. Are, are you are you back on uh, in 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 Blackpool some uh, sometimes? Hi. You know they that. That they, they, they call Dublin is uh, the the Norwegian founded Dublin many years ago, and they called it Blackpool. Did they? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. That's something new. Um, yeah, I, I get back to Ireland quite a lot. So my parents still live there. All my family are there. Ah. So uh, yeah, I go three or four times a year. So which is lovely. So um, yeah, so still holding on to the the Irish twang and the accent, you know. So. <laughs> yeah. They and, speak perfect English. Um, I used to have an office in Dublin. They, they speak perfect English there because they understood yes. me. Yeah. So I was very happy. Absolutely. I mean, you know. Absolutely. So, of course, yeah. our office was next to the Guinness plant, but that's another story. Oh. But anyway, um, oh. it, was, it was, it was, but yeah, oh, <laughs> Dublin's great. I'd move there great. tomorrow. Everyone's friendly and nice, except yeah, you know, they so have nice. weather. Yeah. Yeah. And they have yeah. leprechauns. And I know that because there's a leprechaun museum. So people thought. I think you'd had too many Guinnesses that day. Probably. Yeah. So. And then you saw all the leprechauns. But no, but, but you know, you really do have a leprechaun museum in Dublin. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. I, the only reason I knew that is because one of the people from our office was walking around with us and there was this mega chair. I go, that's really cool. He goes, yeah. And he goes, that takes you to the leprechaun museum. And I looked at him oh, wow. like, listen, pal. I drink scotch and I haven't had any today and I just have a cigar. So uh, he goes, no, no. And if you go to the chair, it'll point, it says Leprechaun Museum. And I just thought that was the funniest thing. So yes, you really do have a Leprechaun Museum in Dublin. I'm not making Amazing. it up. Um, so I'll next time you're there visiting yourself. the folks, now you have something to do like your nieces or nephews go, hey, you want to go see Leprechauns? There you go. You know, Dublin's great. <laughs> well, that's really cool. I like that. I like the fact that you, you went from finance, if you will, into this. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. I mean, this not good, bad, just a statement that you had kind of no clue, sold your first painting. And then you're like, wait a yeah. second. Yeah. Now I have to market myself to the yeah. planet. Yeah. And then it's and taken obviously off. Obviously, I, I still had to work my day job for a right. while until I knew I, you know, was selling and, it, you know, it was more right. successful. And then in the last two years, then I've just been focusing on my okay. art and that's been a real blessing. And it's so enjoyable. I mean, you know, I've been waiting for this all my life. But I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but are you are you um, are you talking with 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 with, with the press? Are, are you on on magazines? Um, yeah, newspapers, I've, I've, whatever. Yeah, I've been in um, the Art World magazine, which is very yeah, me popular. too. Yeah, yeah, that and that was a real pleasure. Which I, the the way they promoted that and the way they presented yeah. that was fabulous. Really professional. Yeah. Mm. So now, do you represent yourself, or do you now because you're a big famous artist? Do you have an agent, wish. or how does that work? Uh, no, I represent myself. I have I have okay. had an agent in the past who took my originals, but now I've branched out to doing it more myself, um, okay. which is which works for me. So yeah. And then when you got into galleries, was that because of your agent or because of your prints? Or how did you get into like your first gallery? Did they see your stuff and go, we love it. You have to have a show. Yeah, that was another thing that I thought was a scam when the agent contacted me and said, I want to put your 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 stuff into galleries because it's really commercial and vibrant and we think it would sell. And uh, yeah, that initially. So he would take the, the paintings and frame them for me and put them in galleries all around the UK 
And now okay. I have them all in, in the, all around the UK, but I also put them in galleries myself. So I'm not restricted just to my agent. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can, I, I've, I've, I've got an agreement with him that, you know, certain size paintings I will just do with him. But then my larger paintings, um, they go directly into galleries via myself. Or galleries contact me, which is great. Mm -hmm. And Instagram's probably been my number one uh, way of, get, of getting galleries to contact me because they're, they're huge on Instagram, you know, who, who's not on Instagram? Uh, but especially the art galleries, they're, they're all on Instagram. And I think they obviously see things that they, they look out for. And so I've had quite a lot of galleries contact me and say, we'd love to, to put your work in our gallery. So that's been Very great. Nice. So all you kids out there that want to be an artist, this is what it really takes. It's like, yeah, you're, not I mean, over, you're not an overnight success. I mean, it's not an overnight success. Yourself. It takes a lot of work. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's rewarding. And, you know, I would do this anytime over another job ever. And it, it would break my heart if I had to give it up, you know. It really would because I finally found my place. I just have a question. General, the, okay, Emma, Emma, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, I want we to ask... Do you participate uh, in uh, art exhibition or art show? Yes, Emma, that's a good question. Yeah, I've been in quite a few exhibitions. Um, I, I, I enter some art competitions if I think they, they, they're going to be good for me promotion-wise. So I've done some exhibitions in the UK, yes, and they've been really successful. But they've been part of a group exhibition as opposed to a solo exhibition. But it's been really good fun and a great way to meet other artists, yeah. Okay. And, and what does um, your husband think of all this now? After four years where he threw this canvas out and now his wife is this, you know, successful artist. What does he yeah. think of all of this? <laughs> he is the proudest man in the world. He is so proud of me. He tells everybody wow. about me. I, you know, I couldn't do a thing wrong in his eyes. He's like, he's wonderful. And he will say the most amazing things about me. And I'm like, oh, stop, please, you know. But he, he is, he's super proud. He, he's absolutely so proud and i've got two sons who are also very proud and when they oh. say it they mean it because you know they're like um, one of my sons is 26 one is 23 the 26 year old is the financial advisor so he's gone down the finance route got a maths degree right. super clever my other son is 23 he doesn't know what he wants to do he's been traveling the world different jobs he's he's great and uh, he's got a degree in uh part law and business so um it's interesting they are very proud because to get uh, if you know teenage boys or actually not teenagers to get them to say something positive about their mom and dad is quite unusual uh, but they say right. to me mom we're so proud of you we're so proud of you and Bravo. You know, that right. makes me happy nice. you know mm -hmm. that makes me so happy they just like to be able to go to galleries around the world and go that's my mom's yeah, yeah. <laughs> mom. yeah my mom painted that yeah it's no big deal some guy's paying for it goes yeah oh yeah my mom painted i get one for free yeah so yeah, yeah. And, and, and 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 they all have t-shirts with, with with your prints on them yeah <laughs> but actually yeah. it's there it's 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 so rewarding it's it's their view and their opinion that's probably the most rewarding to me because yeah. uh you know i'm their mom and you know i'm pretty cool in their eyes and that's great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's very yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but but very, very cool. th there's th there's one thing. People in general they think that uh, being an artist is is, is a lazy uh, life form, you know, uh, and uh, they couldn't have been more wrong. For for some maybe, but uh, it it's another thing that that it's. Uh, You have uh, achieved that, and that is when you have a name in in art, then nobody nobody's asking, you know, because the name, the, the personal branding, and and the for, for you with all the family incorporated branding, <laughs> uh, yeah. kind of, you know, it, it it it's wonderful to be. Uh, so you you you're, you're a team leader. Yeah, and that's a really good point, Morton. You say about this perception of the artist, you know, come across as lazy. And you're right, maybe true for some. Um, but I think, you know, it is, it is about wanting to succeed. And, 
Yeah. I think if you don't want to succeed, you might be perceived as lazy. But if you want to succeed, it's hard work, but it's rewarding and it's steps, you know, and eventually you'll get there. You will get there for anyone who thinks, you know, it's not going to happen, but you've got to make it happen. It's not going to happen by luck. Even you know, if it's post-mortem. <laughs> you're saying even when you're dead it'll happen so yeah but yeah. people i think want to do when they're alive yeah yeah like, i mean you're right Stephen. like look at some of the most famous artists yep. you know they, they yeah, yeah, yeah 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 rich till they were dead you know so mm. it will their happen families, their families did well their families did very very well but the, the artists did so, well. yeah, not so not so, not yeah. so much so yeah, yeah. Think, you, you want to be a famous father, artist all your life my sons are set up for life i think <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, your sons are very, they're like, mom's doing great. This mm. is awesome, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, some of the artists, they were starving, and then all of a sudden, they got discovered 100 years later, and then they were like, their yeah, families were like, oh, now we're rich. So, but Peter, uh, that's so, right, yeah. Peter Max, right? Because Peter Max became pillowcases to art, and it's sort of like, for you, it's like, not that you do pillowcases, but it's sort of like, you you get to enjoy it, not just the financial Absolutely. rewards, but if you yeah. will, the fame, for lack of a better term, yeah. while you're still yeah. alive. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And, and it is very much a business, Stephen, as you say, you know, I'm constantly yeah. thinking of the next thing I have to do. And I suppose working in, I worked in law for a while, I worked in finance, I worked in tax, and I've become very administrative in my thoughts, you know, so yeah. I mm -hmm. have, I have that kind of side to me, the business side to me, as well as the artist, which luckily for me has blended really well. And, and, and you know, the marketing yeah. as well. So it's all come together because of all of those things. Yeah, and I think a yeah, lot of people yeah. don't realize that art is a business. Um, yeah. and, and I don't think they realize from whether it's the artist, whether it's their agent, whether it's a gallery, whether whatever, it, it art is very much a business and Absolutely. you can be the best artist in the world. And if nobody picks you up, yeah. it makes no difference. And you could be like me that draws stick figures and, an al and a gallery goes, this is the next Picasso and everybody's yeah. gonna go, yes, he is. And they'll pay millions <laughs> of dollars for nothing. So yes. I don't think people realize it is is a well back in the day it was more of a, a who you knew and a marketing game before the internet and now yeah. it really is is that you can make yourself for lack of a better term famous and renowned because you can use the internet back in the day mm -hmm. without the internet if someone didn't pick up your art yeah you were SOL right now yeah I mean, like you're you right did. yeah. I yeah you sold it on you sold it on you sold it on linkedin you went like oh light bulb i can put it here 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 and here and then people see Absolutely. you and then all of a sudden it's like look look what i can do back in the day like going back to just say the 90s you yeah. didn't have any of that right no. so like you could do all this beautiful work and your friends would be like that's great i'll give you 60 pounds for you like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know and instead of someone seeing it and going we're going to give you millions yeah. you're like oh millions works what so nice i think people don't understand hobby, that uh, absolutely what a nice hobby yeah yeah you know and, and, and a business and a hobby you know combined yeah. so yeah, you know course, it's, it's a real course. it's a real it's a real joy actually and as stephen said you know you know in the 90s or whenever you'd have to probably go knock on doors on gallery doors you know where would the licensing companies find you where would you do your right. prints i mean you've got so many options because of social media i mean yeah. you know that's one of the good sides of social media you know you can promote yourself it's hard work and you've got to keep at it all the time and more yes. and more artists now are are freelancers uh, yes. and they and they are doing just like you they are using uh, uh, professional uh, uh, sales uh, companies now yeah. and then but but if you are binding just to them they take all the money absolutely it's it's difficult yeah licensing <laughs> is not not particularly um, profitable unless you're selling a lot you know the percentage yeah. you get yeah. because you know, you, you're going to sell your copyright of your image. You keep the original, which is nice. But, you know, you only get a percentage of the yeah. wholesale value, not the, the retail value. You know, if the print is going to sell in next, for instance, for £60, you know, they won't have bought that from the licensing company for £60. They might only have paid 20 quid for it or £10. So, yeah. you know, you're only getting a percentage of that original wholesale price. So it's, it, it can be lucrative if you're selling a lot. Right. Well, that's what you said before that you had sold like four or five thousand units. Yeah. And it's like, but okay, that, so she sold enough. Lucrative ones, yeah. 
Right. You look at that and you're like, oh, I made some money. Because and the yeah. other thing which people don't understand, and I might I might have collected a piece or two over the years, is that you know, you go to an art gallery through an agent and the gallery puts up your let's say your artwork for two thousand. They think yeah. everyone's like, oh, the artist gets two thousand. No, the artist may get five hundred dollars because the gallery is yeah. going to get X, mm -hmm. the agent gets Y. This, 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 this. So you get mm -hmm. this little itty bitty chunk of it. Now, when you go directly and it's two thousand, then the Absolutely. gallery gets whatever, and you get whatever. It's a bigger chunk. Yeah. But I think people yeah. don't understand that. So when they see um, art and they're like, oh my god, the, the the artist is making bank. I'm like, yeah, probably yeah. not. If you know. Yeah. And so when I go to art shows and and at galleries and they're talking about the artist. I meet the artist and I go, do you have an agent? And they go, yes. And then I can start actually doing the math, which is terrible yeah. because I'm trying to figure out how much I can negotiate with the gallery yeah. where it gets to a yeah. price that I want to buy it for. And, if it's the guy, and the guy goes, no, I'm the yeah. artist and I brought it here. I'm like, I have more room because I know the yeah. split's a little more, you know, 50, 50 more than like the mm -hmm. artist is going to get 20% of whatever the net net, oh, net is. Of it. You're, you're so People right. don't realize that. You're so right. You've got if you've got an yeah. agent, you know, you're paying his fee. Uh, the gallery yeah. will take fifty or forty percent. So it is yeah. better yeah. for the for yeah. especially me for my larger paintings to go directly with the gallery um and you know get percentage, which is obviously better for me and better for them. Sure. Well, and that's a, but but that's the point. People don't really understand it. So when they go no. there and they go and they start negotiating. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't mind negotiating because the agent yeah. gets less. The gallery. But then I'm always like, so what's the artist? So the artist, if there's an agent and a gallery involved, Max is getting 40%. Yeah. Absolutely. If they're lucky. Yeah. If, yeah. They're, if yeah. they're lucky. And right. So yeah. when you start negotiating, yeah. it's kind of like, oh, okay. Then when yeah. if an artist says, like I said, the artist says, no, I brought it to the gallery. I'm like, sky's the limit. Because that's usually a 50, 50 or 60, 40 yeah. in the artist's favor. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we have all day here. So, yeah. and that's what people don't, I don't understand. And it's fascinating. When I first started to collect and someone said, it's a business. They go, but it's art. And they're like, no, it's yeah. a business. And then I it's realized it is a yeah. business. And I yeah. was like, once I learned that, I was like, oh, I can negotiate for anything then. And you just yeah, have to know yeah, how, how it's all set up. Because once yeah. you know that, then you know the limits you can get away with. Because some the agents don't want anything off the price. No. The galleries technically don't, but are willing. And the artists yeah, are like, I, I just think, sell it. Yeah. You're always open to a bit of negotiation for a sale. Yeah, always, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll always listen to any negotiation, you know, and it's usually, it might be 10% or 5%. Yeah. And yeah, I'm always open yeah. to that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 But it's funny. If somebody and loves my painting, you know. They'll buy but, uh, are, it. But the other yeah, thing, which you? is interesting, if you're an agent and you go to a gallery to buy, my buddy's an agent and he'll be like, do you, I'll go, I like something, go get that for me. So I know what they, they asked at the gallery. Then I know his price and I'll yeah. be like, there's like a 50%, like they ate, they do this thing. And I just chuckle to myself. So I'd rather just call him. I'm like, no sweat. I'm like, Hey dude, just go yeah. get that for me. He's like, okay. And he'll come yeah. back. I'll go, yeah. this is their best offer. And I'm thinking that's like 50 or 60% off of what they want. We're good. Yes. So, yes. you know, yes. so it really is a game. And I think people yeah. don't understand that. And if they made it less of a game, I think more people would collect. Um, but right. I think people, cause they think it's such a game. It's yeah. like, Oh, am I getting a good price? Is this really going to be a yeah. good artist? And I always tell people, buy something you like for a yeah. price that you think is your, the fair price to you. And this way, you don't care. If it goes up or down, makes no difference if it appreciates or not, as long as you can look at it and like it. And yeah, that's, if you that's love what people it, don't really get. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, if you love yeah. it and it's always going to bring you joy, then, you know, that's that's, there's no price on it really sometimes for that kind of thing, is there? Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, anything else for our, our guest? That's it. You're all cat tied. Um, You're all tongue tied. <laughs> uh, I just uh, I just think about uh, Shaban when she says uh, she begins to paint uh, on the lockdown. I think it's uh, it's a time where you connect to yourself, when you connect yeah. to your heart and your soul, and yeah. uh, you bring out. Uh, the energy, the light you are within, and to share with people. And I think it's very beautiful. Thank you, Emma. I really yeah. appreciate that. And you're, you're, you're right about probably the lockdown period where we all, you know, unfortunately, in some cases, had a bit more time on our hands. And you're right, we had time to think. And I think that's where it probably stemmed from, having that time to be able to think about something else yeah, yeah thank you Emma. i appreciate that yeah.
And for a lot of people, they shouldn't have had time to think, but that's a different story. Um, yeah. so, so what we will do for everybody that's watching or listening, well, not really listening, but people that are watching, we will put the links the, below. The texture. So you can reach to you. Go ahead, Morton. Yeah, I, I was just wondering, you don't actually see the texture texture now. Yeah. But is it... Is it... Let, me, let me show you. Um... Low, instance, low. You know when um, you can't really see. Um, it's difficult to see the textures. But yeah, from the side, I see. Yeah, no, no, no. It's and much I have got some more paintings that are more textured, which would probably show it a little bit more. But um, another one I have here is this one, and if I show oh, it to you, you can probably yeah, yeah. see. The texture is a little bit better on that one. So yeah, it's, it's difficult to see on the screen. So they are very textured. Just lovely. They're gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And we will put the links to your site below. So anybody that wants to reach out and buy something, feel free. And if you can't figure out how to do that, contact the show and we'll put you in touch with her. And we will go from there. And other than Thank it, you. guys, we're done. That's the show. It's been great speaking told you to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like, everybody. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.